All right, perfect. So welcome to everybody for this four part webinar series, Clinical Meets Functional with myself and Dr. Courtney Conley of Gate Happens, where we're going to be taking a deep dive into addressing chronic foot pathology and really how we can merge or marry these philosophies of more clinical, structural, surgical injection. Where is that role with the functional corrective exercise? And then what that reality is like for your patients and with your clients. So this is wanting everyone to become a pronation detective. And part of that detective work is that I want you to ask yourself these questions, write them down if you need, or have a, a list that you have with all of your patients. And you're starting to ask yourself, if you see pronation, is it rear foot or midfoot? And I'm gonna show you an image of that difference. And we went into that a little bit in the pre-course lecture. The midfoot pronation is the one that you want to be a little bit more concerned of. This is where the navicular is dropping. And the navicular drop is typically associated with ligament laxity or hypermobility of the foot, or perhaps a little bit of a breakdown or loss of integrity in the post-tip tendon. Rear foot pronation is more associated with some of that kinetic chain, meaning glute strengthening and rotating through joint coupling to stabilize the foot. What we're doing, that now that placement of the ball is very key. Um, when we're talking about rear foot pronation, we know that posterior tibialis is a big player here. In fact, it's one of the only muscles of the foot that is actually has some type of EMG or activity going on through the entire stance phase of gait. So in this video, you'll see as I come up onto the toes there, the key thing is squeezing that ball at the top. And that's when we get that rear foot inversion that is important to locking the foot out so we can propel forward in the gait cycle. Some of you may be wondering, how do orthotics even work? What is the, what's the secret sauce of them? And I'm sure there's a lot of articles you could find that say orthotics don't even work, but the method behind them is in two main ways. One, you're either building up the arch. So you can see here, there's a plastic shell with a built up arch, which is literally pushing the navicular up. That's a way. And when you lift the arch, you invert the heel. Same thing, if you invert the heel, you're gonna lift the arch. So those, that's a coupled relationship. Or if you don't do the arch support way, you could post. And this posting that you see, this is called a varus post. Beautiful things happen within the foot when forefoot, forefoot splay can occur. So just talking about the anatomy here, um, when you go into mid stance or full foot loading, one of the things that happens, we know that pronation is necessary, okay, it, it absorbs shock. And when you look at the metatarsals, the metatarsals will splay, okay? And that's one of the mechanisms to help absorb shock of the foot when we walk. There is a ligament that goes across the metatarsals here called the deep transverse metatarsal ligament. Okay, so you guys can see how that runs across the metatarsal heads there. Play is the metatarsal pad. And that is the image here all the way on the right. This is a quarter inch felt metatarsal pad. You can buy them on Amazon. There's um, Dr. Jill's is one brand that you'll see on Amazon. And then Hapad, H-A-P-A-D is another one. along that posterior chain. In this position, I'm going shoulder to opposite hand. Now I'm working frontal plane. When I lift up this leg, as I go across my body, now I'm working in transverse plane. So I'll go 10 reps in each direction. This is kind of like a, a secret little drill because I'll talk 
soccer shoe, you could try a dancer's pad. So this is a dancer's pad. This would be the placement of where it goes on the foot. And this is again using quarter inch felt. You can buy it on Amazon. Dr. Jill makes some. Um, and it's something you could put directly on the foot or into the shoe, or it gets built into custom orthotics. And when it's built into a custom orthotic, it's actually called a reverse Morton's extension. You know, I've, I've used this course three times today in my practice since we taught it last night. So as far as it being a reference, I mean, this is what it's there for.